Hi guys, it's Becca over at Advancing Aiden. We are going to do a children's storyboard today. The way that I'm gonna do it is um, there's three separate parts. There's your plastic outside, your um, single walled stainless steel middle, and your butt piece. This is a 20 or a 12 ounce um, storyboard from Hog. And what I'm gonna do to start with is we are going to spray paint the base white, which I'm not gonna film for you guys. And then we're gonna alcohol ink it, which I will film. Then I'm going to spray seal it with Rust-Oleum clear coat. I do a bunch of light coats. It'll probably wind up being three or four. I will try and film that for you guys so you can see. All right, and TV magic, we're all spray painted white. I'm gonna use compressed air. I'm using CRC duster and I'm using different alcohol inks. I'm using Aquamarine from Ranger. I'm using Dandelion from Ranger. I'm using Crimson and I'm using Mermaid. Again, all of this can change during the actual creation of it. Some of it I'm going to just put it on, see how I like it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. And that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start with the yellow. I'm gonna try just a little bit of ink. Did you guys see how bad I was shaking right there? Oh, I'm liking these shorter bursts. It's getting some good, um, like, spidery textures. I'm gonna try spritzing a little alcohol on it to see if I can get it to blend a little bit. I'm holding my spritzer really far back. And then I'm gonna blow some air on it. See if I can get it to blend, which it's really not doing what I wanted it to do. So I'm gonna go like this. I might regret this, you guys, but nope, I don't. It's like, I might regret this, but I don't. The alcohol is letting it move a little bit, but not too much, which is exactly what I wanted. And it's kind of, you can see where it's bleeding a little bit to give it a little bit more color dimension without making a giant spot. Also, my hand is starting to get really cold, which might be nature's way of telling me to stop messing with it. But I don't like nature, so. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna just do one more, guys. One more. One more little dot. I'm gonna blow straight down. No! That wasn't what I wanted it to do at all. There we go. Okay, so I'm messing with it when I shouldn't be, but I'm finally getting it to kind of do what I wanted, which is quick. 
see how it's bringing the different colors up higher and it's kind of spreading it without adding a lot of ink. This is what I wanted it to look like on this side. And I just have to figure out how to do it on the other side without completely ruining my stuff. All right, so we are on to the next step. I did go ahead and put silicone in the base and then put the plastic piece on top. And I did film it, but I can't find the footage for it. It's the same process that we're gonna do for the top. So I'm just gonna explain it to you. I put a small bead inside the rim and then I seated this in really well. And then I used a popsicle stick and I just did a thin, like I used what I had squirted out to do a thin layer on top of this portion. I did check it to make sure that it was sealed properly, which it is. So now we're gonna go ahead and fill it. And I'm gonna, I've never done this before, so it may work, it may not. Um, I'm gonna fill with clear glue. Most of the storyboards I've seen have used glycerin. And um, I have about this much water in a cup and probably, oh, I don't know. You watched me squirt it in some. I'm gonna be using paw prints, so I want it to get a nice good flow. Um, and I'm gonna stir it together with a popsicle stick and we're gonna, hopefully, hopefully this works. I've never tried this before. Um, so we're just gonna kinda wing it and see what happens. Um, I've done the sensory bottles with glue and glycerin and I really much prefer the way the, the clear school glue does a flow so i wanted to try it in the storyboard because this is actually only my second storyboard or third storyboard that i've made i guess yeah this is the third one um and i've never liked how the glitter flows so we're gonna try this um i'm gonna try and angle you guys on the camera to see if we can get a little bit better look so hang on just a second okay so i think you guys can see here See how the glue has completely dissolved? There's not a lot of bubbles. It is pretty thick though. I can feel the consistency difference with the popsicle stick. Um, but I'm gonna add just a little bit more glue because I, I want you guys to see what it looks like from up close. And I just want a little bit more in. At this point, I could probably buy stock and school glue. You can see how it's cloudy when you first put it in and as you mix it up, as long as you mix it slowly, I don't get a lot of bubbles and that's kind of one of my main concerns and now you can see it goes clear. And we've got a little bit, I think that actually looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna try dropping some of this glitter in to see what happens. Okay, so these are the glitters that we're gonna use. I want to see how they look when we mix them up. I'm going to stir them up, see what happens. Oh, they have a nice, good, slow flow. See how these are hanging pretty suspended? That's what I was looking for. I think this is going to look really good. And there, they're settling to the bottom. Okay. Actually, I kind of am really liking this angle. So now when you fill it, you want to be careful of not getting anything in that portion. I'm just pouring it in. Hopefully I mixed enough. Hey, look at that, I did. Okay. I'm going to dump out just a teeny bit. Okay. You know, I was going to do the paw prints, but now I'm thinking that I just want... I don't think they'll show up very well against this paint. I'm gonna think for a second. Okay, so I thought for a second and I decided that I wasn't going to put the paw prints in his cup because I have a little bit of a concern about them floating 
um, and getting stuck. But more than that, I was concerned that they weren't going to show up against the paint. So I'm using gemstones from Renwell's instead. And I'm going to, this may work, this may not. This is kind of just how um, I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens, you guys. Oh, um, let's see if I can get this angle for you guys so you guys can watch it. Look at that, you guys. That, okay, I feel better about this decision now. Definitely, I think, the right decision. I didn't put a lot of glitter in. You can see it slowly making its way down. I am going to add just the tiniest touch of more water and glue. There we go. You can see that it's starting to, to flow down. And I'm just using the popsicle stick here at the top to kind of mix. Um, definitely, I think that was the right call. It's gonna look so good. Should I put more glitter in or no? Mm. I don't think so. No. Okay, so the next thing that you wanna do, and this is the important part, you have to make sure. Unless you wanna just finish all that. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the tiniest of bits in that's still in the, the bottom of my medicine cup. Really like the flow that we have going on here. Mm hmm. This is gonna be so cool. Let me grab the silicone. Here we go. So when I do mine, and again, this is just how I do mine. I'm gonna bring you guys back up again so you can see what I'm doing. I ha I use this um, silicone max. It's a shrink and crack proof, low odor, into your exterior, water resistant in 30 minutes. So I fill in this piece with silicone. And then I put some on here as well. I know what I'm thinking about now, though, is that I want to make sure the glitter all, for the most part, falls down before I put the silicone in. Mm. And again, I'm not an expert on this, you guys. I have not made a bunch of them. This is either my second or third, maybe fourth. Um, I'm just going to add a little more water. There we go. Okay. I'll dry my stick off. I'm going to fill this part in. Do the same thing over here. And then I'm going to scoop a little bit out. I'm just going to rim the inside. Make sure you get a nice, good coat. I really hope my son likes this. I always say less is more as far as this, or uh, less is not more as far as this goes, because you want to make sure you get a really good seal. Okay. And then you twist it on. You got to make sure you actually get it on there. There we go. Got it threaded on. And make sure you thread it properly. That is important too. And you can see, I'm gonna bring you guys down and angle you so you can see the edge of the cup. There you go. The last thing that I do is I put a little bit on a popsicle stick and I seal from the outside as well. Um, I'm definitely going to clean this up because I'm gonna epoxy the outside of it. Um, but when I, do, when I do epoxy, I'm gonna put a thin um, matching, likely glitter. I might do mica. I haven't decided. Um, on the bottom and on the two on the two edges so that you can see it. The most important thing when you're doing this is that you don't touch it after you put this on here. And it's like, I'm saying this to myself because it's so hard. I want to check the glitter flow. I want to make sure that it's, I mean, <laughs> you can undo this. You can break the seal and take this off um, and change it if you want, which is why I test the flow in advance. But you want to make sure that you're not disrupting the silicone curing process with liquid. So it's really best just to kind of put it on there and then not do anything. Just let it sit there. 
So I'm actually really happy with this. There's a good amount of glitter in there. We'll come back in 72 hours and see how it looks. Mm -hmm.